Hello, everybody. She a fashion killer, and I'm a trendy nigga. So, uh, if anything, it's really fucking cold where I'm at, okay? When I woke up today, it was at single digits. Now, finally, at 11 o'clock, it is at double digits. Shit is insane. We went from 7 degrees at 6 a.m. in the morning to fucking 14 degrees at 11 o'clock in the morning. Tell me, what difference does it make? What difference does it make despite of it being fucking cold as shit? I was really in the mood of taking photos of myself, you know, putting that shit on, but it's really fucking cold outside and snow was covering up all the good spots so I stayed in the house now I didn't want to just stay in the house but I want to do some shit with my clothes so why not combine them both into one thing? I made four outfits, originally six, but I had two that I didn't like, so I cut them out. We're gonna be go overing those four outfits. Now, before we do, make sure that you guys like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna stay uploaded on my daily unemployed life. I wanna actually talk to you guys about something before we get into the uh, outfits real quick. Do you think it's better for me to like, not pay attention to what I see on the internet? Now, look. Hear me out, okay? What I mean by like not pay attention to what I see on the internet is just like by the social media like bullshit drama or just like what's happening on a negative impact, you know? What's that doing for me in a way is what I'm tr trying to say. Like what is that gonna b b benefit for me and my content knowing that I'm wasting time and I have a dopamine-like habit to just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling away on shit that does not even matter in the first place. Which is what I question myself while I'm sitting on my rug, a camera and a light next to me. But yeah, that's pretty much what I want to say. What do you guys think? Do you think it's better if we, as a as people, to stop paying attention to those impact niggas in a bad way, you know? Just bring light onto people that have no reason to? But that's besides the point. Let's get into these outfits real quick. So for the first outfit that I ended up making, it features a gray hoodie layered on with a blue and red striped vest, brown pants, and off-white dunks. And honestly, to be honest, I like this outfit a lot because it reminds me of like a GTA 5 custom character fit that you really would see inside the game. The off-brand of colors and how they match up together at the end is really somewhat kind of cool because the gray and brown goes with the white and then you throw on an abstract color on top of that. It kind of brings in a new different outfit in the mix but it also makes it look even more better so if anything i have to say around 7.5 out of 10. okay so for the next outfit we feature a earth tone green hoodie layered on with a puffer jacket baggy brown pants and beat up balenciaga shoes the hold on wait these beat up shoes are a fucking essential to me bro these are such an essential to me you always have to have a pair of bulky shoes no matter what it is bro that is a fashion need you need different types of shoes to bring out different types of proportions in your outfits okay you can wear baggy pants and then have on chuck taylor's yeah you may look like a fucking 11th grader but shit that ain't proportion i would say if you're going to have a baggy layering have a bulky shoe to back it up like timberlands air force ones high tops mid tops and low tops rick owens just any of those would work including these including these you could be able to wear these during the summer and during the winter for a bulky aspect look so if anything balenciaga it's such a fire shoe the proportions that the shoes give the outfit makes it look like a bulkier and baggier outfit than the Already is. The baggier, the bulkier the shoes, the baggier the pants, the better the outfit's gonna be, in my opinion. The way on how I styled it and the way on how I made it look even more cooler actually brings it to A plus tier. A plus tier outfit in my opinion, you know? Just baggy pants and bulky shoes, they just go with anything and everything, you know? Oh, have you ever like seen one of those TikTok trends on where people wear the tight shirts and then they have on like baggy pants and then bulky shoes? I've been seeing it a lot, I ain't gonna lie. I've been seeing it a lot and I've been liking it. It, it looks really cool. It it looks really really cool the next outfit actually features is a black london hoodie layered with a vintage denim jacket that i found at the thrift black levi's and rick owens this actually gives off like 2017 to 2018 cash cardi era like die lit era and how much of like a punk rocker it is it kind of looks really chill like, you're like downtown, like you're some NPC, like you're trying to buy shoes or some shit, buying some like designer shit. This type of outfit really gives off like you're at the mall, you know, you're just shopping, you're just chilling, you know, you're vibing. You wanna throw some on that's like designer? 
but you want to keep it low-key though, you know, because without the denim jacket, it looks like a normal and simple layered outfit, you know, because you're just wearing all black. But you throw another color on top of that, it gives it a new overlay and a new proportion. Plus, with the jacket even having a boxy feature, the jacket material that is actually being used makes it have a good heavyweight feel to it. It makes it feel a lot more heavier and warmer than it actually is. L like, look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit. Like, this... Like, this jacket is so cool. Like, it feels more like a, like, a workwear jacket than it does an actual denim jacket. That's why I love this so much. I love the fit. I love this jacket. Just 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 across the board. Okay, so for the last outfit, is actually gonna end up featuring a light blue hoodie, distressed denim jeans, and Yeezy firm runners. Bro! Kanye was cooking during that era, bro. Bro, let's be real. Name one person you know that never wanted a pair of Yeezy slides or Yeezy foam runners. Come on, name one. Literally name one. None of them. You wanna know why? Because they all wanted them, bro. The Yeezy foam runners are so classic to use as a running shoe and as a sneaker of its own, bro. Whenever Kanye showed this bitch, it had millions of niggas fiending for it. And I know it's like really fucked up right now. Like it's dirty as shit, but don't, don't pay attention to that. Don't pay attention. This shit is a classic shoe. And I got this in like, this shit, this shit ran me like $300, $400. But that's besides the, this, sh like this, just this thing is so classical to even wear. This is a house shoe and an outside shoe. All in one, all in one. And this isn't even the dick suck. Like this is really a great, great idea. To have a house shoe, and, to, and for it to also be an outside shoe. I kinda like it, I kinda like it. Like you can use this to literally like clean your fucking house with. Not only that, you can walk the dog with it, go to the store, get in your fucking Lamborghini Urus, drive with this bitch, all in one shoe! What the fuck, bro? Honestly, Kanye killed it with that. He really did, he killed it with it. Rocking, rolling, swagging to the max. I had dream I would find my way to heaven, but then I spent it all on a necklace. My bitch a fashion killer, she be busy popping tags. She got a lot of pride.